would tickle. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. How about your other ones? Your other toes don't tickle. Do they still tickle? You still ticklish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's still in there. you got a lot of Fish and Freak fans out there. A lot of Bulldog fans. You want to have a stare down with the pumpkin lantern? <laughs> you stare down the pumpkin lantern? I'm trying to figure out what it is. Looks like he's about to fall into it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Hey guys, sitting here with Winston. Been uh, just taking care of him, watching over him over the past, well, whenever I got home from the jury duty situation. And uh, he's, he's having a really rough time. We're having to keep pretty much 24 7 watch on him. He has. Uh, he has seizures, and um, we took him into the vet. Uh, actually, I wasn't even here. My mom took him into the vet. Um, Stephanie came up right away to see him uh, up here in, in the Dallas area, and um, uh, the vet basically said that you know he's he's getting older. He probably has some sort of brain tumor or something, some neurological thing going on. Um, and uh, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So they gave him a medicine. Um, please guys let me know in the comments if you've ever had a situation like this so you can kind of let us know, but um, this, oh Winston, he keeps falling, he's on this seizure medication, or anti-seizure medication, uh, but it just drugs him out really bad, and um, it's just sad guys, it's so sad, like, <laughs> it's, it's really like taking care of, uh, you know, a really elderly person that has Alzheimer's and can't really stand up, doesn't have balance. <sighs> I've basically have we've we've lost Winston. I mean the 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 way we know Winston and knew Winston, he's still in there but he's he's just fighting so hard. It that's just in his personality, you know, he's fighting the medication, he's he's fighting the seizures, what's going on. He won't lay down. It's like he just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to lay down and just relax. He just wants to fight it. That's just in his nature. That's how. That's how bulldogs are. That's how Winston is. God. This is the last thing that I need. Is Winston? Sadly, guys, I'm just gonna say it. I think he's at. I think he's at the end of his life. And um, <sighs> damn it, it's not fair, man. It's not fair. Um, we haven't had one since that long. Um, only a couple years. You guys have seen him on camera a lot. He's been a blessing to our family. 
and um, I don't want to show you too much of them like this, quite honestly. Um, me and Stephanie are gonna gonna take really good care of them, and just see how uh, how this medication goes, and see if it helps him at all over the next couple days. Supposedly, he's supposed to kind of get used to it, but this is a medication that he's supposed to be on the remainder of his life, and um, I just pray that he can get back to his normal self for a little bit and just close out his life strong man um, I don't know what else to say guys um, I think I'm gonna cut to some happy moments with Winston so we can uh, just remember him that way and um, he's a strong bulldog he's a strong bulldog so we love him no one wants to see their pet die, <laughs> um, especially yeah, a pet that's <laughs> semi-famous on the internet. You don't even know that Winnie Pooh, but you have a lot of fans out there, and he's gonna keep fighting it, guys. I know it's it's not gonna be pretty, and I don't I don't want to show you, you know, him in his worst state. So we're gonna cut to some happy times of Winston. Winston, guess what? It's mail time. Allie wants to see the little marshmallow. It's a little slow right now. Just Come here. Come here. Come on. Here we are. It's time. We get to be in the mail unboxing. So, Allie, say hi. Say hi to Allie Winston. family too. That dog, he was he was really special. Um just a while ago he was he was not doing well, but he was still standing up. And um, then he just started spinning in circles, guys. And he got, just started having a lot of seizures and got really scared. He just kept running and running and running in, in circles. And um, I just held him, I just held him for probably 45 minutes and he wouldn't stop. 
and uh, his breathing started to get really, really bad. He started getting uh, liquid in his lungs, some of his spit, and I don't, don't want to get into the details, but it, it was just, he was dying, guys, and um, unfortunately, me and Stephanie had to, uh, we had to take him to the vet and, uh, and put him down. He he died um, right in front of us. Me and Stephanie um, held him as long as we could, and um, it was it was one of the saddest things I've ever had to do. Winston was a very special dog, as you guys know. He just fought. He fought the whole time, man, and he's like that his whole life. You know, that's one of the reasons we adopted him is because he was a he was a a fighter. He would always get loose and try to fight other dogs. It was just something in his complex. He, he was always tough. And the vet said he was, he was old and you know he most likely had a brain tumor. And that brain tumor just eventually got to the point where it was putting too much pressure on his uh, nerves and uh, causing him to have all those neurological problems. Um, so, <sighs> scary thing is I know I've got one in my brain too and um, you know, he was so fine. We were at it. We were at that tournament. He was fine. We left him here with my parents, and then he just woke up one morning and had one. And then things just got worse and worse and worse. And I'm just, I thank God, I was able to get up, get up here and see him, uh, and just have a have a day with him. I spent all night with him, and uh, you know, we woke up multiple times, and he, you know, he was just having problems, but. I'm just glad I, I got to spend the last, you know, near 24 hours of his life with him, and uh, I, I at least got to see him still when he was he was he wasn't doing great, but he wasn't in that really really bad state that I'm not even going to show you guys. I didn't even record it, so um, it can happen just like that, and um, you just got to enjoy every day, man. I. I I thank God every day when I get up and I'm functioning fine and I'm doing well knowing I'm walking around with a tumor in my head. Um, so, and yes, Stephanie is, she's really upset. We're both really, really upset. This is one of the hardest things we've ever had to do. So, um, I just buried him. I buried him on his favorite tree here um, at my parents' house in the backyard. He, he loved this backyard more than our backyard, so um, I'm just glad he can he can be here. And his uh, his only friend he ever got along with, the only dog he ever got along with was Buddy, and uh, Buddy died, and uh, Buddy is his ashes are here too. So he's he's uh, he's with his only friend he ever he ever had besides besides us. And I know you fishing freaks out there and everyone else that tunes into this channel uh, loves Winston. Just send him something good in the comments. If any of you out there have some artistic ability and want to do something cool for Winston, uh, I'd love to see something. You can put something in the P.O. box. We can maybe put something on his, on his tree out here. I think that would be pretty special coming from you guys. I, I really don't know what else to say except, you know, Winston just... He was such an incredible little bulldog, and uh, I, I love him so much, you know. And he had a fighting spirit, a true fighting spirit of a bulldog that held on true until the end. So the fighting spirit of a bulldog, that's why you see it on on, on schools, mascots, and, and all that. It's a, it's a symbol because it's, it's true, and I'm going to carry that on, especially um, in with my tumor and just everything else in life, I'm gonna carry that part of his attitude with me. And I hope you guys will carry that attitude on with you too. So I've already bawled my eyes out. I've got all my crying out. And um, you know, now I just wanna, I just wanna wish him a good farewell. And um, I hope you guys do too. And I just wanna thank every single one of you out there that is supporting this channel, supporting me and Stephanie and Winston with, with positivity. Uh, it's just been a huge help in this crazy, crazy year, um, especially the last couple months of just so many 
big things going on, just big life things, and uh, I just appreciate you guys more than you know. You know, this is really a venting mechanism for me to turn on this camera and talk to you, and then you reciprocate and send positive vibes our way, so that really helps with everything. There's probably gonna be more of that to come, guys, unfortunately, um, with these, these tough times ahead, but we're gonna stay positive, and we're gonna take Winston's memory with us, Fishing Freaks. I hope you do the same. Let him know something special in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.